Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm sure you're fun. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I have the specific prophetic word. This is a specific word. And the Lord is sending this word because what you are doing is about to make you lose what was promised. There is a prophetic word on your life. There is a prophecy that the Lord had given you concerning maybe your marriage, your life, you know, concerning something peculiar. And you have been waiting on that word. But the challenge is there are moments or times in your life where you begin to consider what it will be like. Huh? What it's going to be like if the word doesn't manifest. You know, the Lord is saying that you should build your faith, not your doubt. The Lord says, build your faith, not your doubt. You see, God says every time you seek knowledge that fits your fears or questions my promises, you weaken the seed of faith I have placed within you. You see, many of us do this unconsciously. Every time you begin to seek knowledge, you begin to search, you know, you search your Google, you search on YouTube to find out what if the man God, you know, what if the man the Lord says is my kingdom spouse decides to marry someone else? What if my kingdom spouse doesn't accept me? What if I finally don't get my green card? What if I don't receive my healing? You know, you begin to search things like that and maybe to you, you might think that it's just you trying to have a deeper understanding about the things of God. But what you don't know is that it's a sign that you don't have total faith and confidence. It's a sign that you are doubting what God has said. You are doubting the promises of God. And every time you do that, you are, you are feeding your doubts. You are feeding your fears instead of feeding your faith. So God is saying, I should tell this person that every time you click the search bar, and you begin to search contrary to the promise, contrary to what builds your faith, it's a sign that you you doubt God. It's a sign that you know you are you have a double expectation. You are not certain on what you are pursuing. The Lord says, build your faith, not your doubt. Every time you seek knowledge that fits your fears or questions my promises, you weaken the seed of faith I have placed within you. Choose to nurture that seed with words and wisdom that aligns with my truth and your expectation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord says you should make up your mind today. Make a decision. Choose to nurture the seed of faith. Choose to nurture that seed with words and wisdom that aligns with the truth of God's word. And that aligns to your expectations. Refuse to let doubt grow roots where faith is meant to thrive. Refuse to let doubt grow roots where faith is meant to thrive. Stand firm in my word. Seek only that which draws you nearer to your promised outcome. And trust that I am faithful to fulfill it. God is saying that you must seek only that which draws you nearer to your promised outcome and keep trusting that God is able to fulfill it. Release the need to know beyond what strengthens your... Mm, hallelujah, my God. Release the need to know beyond what strengthens your faith. Let your trust be unshakable for the Lord is with you. Release the need 
to know beyond what strengthens your faith. And, and you know, this word was a particular blessing, was a blessing to me in particular because I, I, I have been in that place. I began to say things like, you know, in, 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 in there is never a disadvantage, a disappointment when it comes to Christians. I've said things like that, you know, with Christians, there is never a disappointment. I have said things like that. I have said things like, you know, if God did, if this doesn't happen, it means God has a better plan. No, the Lord is saying, I must tell you today, stand firm in my word and seek only that which draws you nearer to your promised outcome. You see, many of us have used, you know, human wisdom, human um, 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 explanations or human truth to explain the word of God, to explain things that pertains to God, you know, that, that, that are not true. Many of, you, of us have used our human understanding to give explanations for, 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 for divine occurrences, divine manifestations that are not true. I know what it means, you know, you begin to hear things that says, you know, even if, even if God never blesses you, God is, God blesses. Even if God doesn't prophesy his word to you, God is, I want you to know that God is not just faithful, but he's faithful to his word concerning you. The Lord says, stand firm in my word. Seek only that which draws you nearer to the promised outcome and trust that I am faithful to fulfill it. Release the need to know beyond what strengthens your faith. Let your trust be unshakable, for I am with you. That's what the Lord is saying today. You know, I said earlier in a, in a live stream that there are two things you can use to strengthen your faith. I began by saying that, you know, your faith should, should arise from the word. Your faith should be based on the word. Your faith should, should stand on the word. And your faith should, you know, should be flawed by the word. Your faith should, should, should be based on the word. The word of God should be the reason why you have faith. It should be the, the, the foundation of your faith. Your faith should stand on God's word. And let the very word of God fuel your faith. There is no faith without God's word. There is no faith without God's word. You cannot... You cannot, you know, focus on what doesn't feed your faith. I know sometimes it is human to prepare for whatever happens, but I need you to trust God. Trust that the one who said it is able to do it. Trust that when God speaks, you know, I listened to a message today and this man of God said that God is not doing try by error. God is not doing try by error to see who works, what works, who accepts what. God is not doing it. It's not a try by error. It's not a game of chance or luck. When God speaks, he's certain. It's a certainty. He's sure of what he said. You see, I was analyzing this today and it baffled me. Can you believe that there was a prophecy God gave Abraham about the Israelites, you know, Check the, the book of Genesis chapter 15. God tells Abraham that your descendants shall be captives. I mean, God tells Abraham your descendants will be captives in a strange land. They shall be there for 400 years. And what amazes me is how this group of people walk into that prophecy. I mean, they, they walk into it so well that they end up in captivity. Not just for 400 years, but for 430 years. 30 years. The same with Babylon. The same with Babylon. I'm trying to get that scripture. Okay, Genesis 15 verse 13. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a shorty of a shorty that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Your seed shall be captive in a land, and shall serve them for four hundred years. Can you believe this? And his children grew up and walked into that prophecy so well that they stayed in Egypt for 430 years. What did they do? I mean, how a group of people can, can fulfill a word that was spoken long before they were born. I need you to understand. I know people have made us feel like, you know, 
prophecy is dependent on what you do, what you don't do, what you speak. Ah, yeah, yeah. It has it it it, it 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 is truth to a certain degree. But you must also understand that a big part of of what happens is based on God's agenda. There is something called God's agenda. And a big part of what happens to you or with you is directly connected to that agenda. Directly connected. Be at peace and trust in the Lord. It's not a, a game. It's not a trial by error. It's not a game of chance to see who wins. He's sure of what he spoke to you. He's certain of the things he told you were going to happen. May this word anchor your heart to pursue what builds your faith and dismiss what fuels your doubt. I pray this word will give you a redirection, help you focus on what God has promised you. I pray that this word will anchor your heart to pursue what builds your faith and dismiss what fuels your doubt. Remember, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And they that come to God must first believe that God is. And you must understand this, that what fuels your faith is God's word and not the physical manifestations around you. What fuels your faith is God's word and not the physical manifestations around you. May God bless you and keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you. May God give you peace. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Shalom.